the outcome that we wanted. Um, it comes down to making plays. Um, and there was a handful of plays that were the difference in that uh, in the game today. And with that, I'll open up for questions, Daryl. Uh, Coach had a couple of chances at the end, but the line just uh, seemed to break down. Uh, uh, you know, nine sacks on the game. Yeah, Bob. Yes. Uh, obviously, you've got to protect your quarterback much better. You can't have him being uh, being hit. Shows the type of uh, resiliency that he has, the grit to get up as many times as he was knocked down. Were you concerned about his health? He, he looked like he was shaking up on a couple of plays. Were you concerned? Uh, Matt is a tough uh, football player. He was. Uh, some of those hits were uh, situations where he was banged up, but uh, he got up, and uh, you know, he's, a, he's our leader. Does you talk about decide? Tony on his uh, last game. Uh, you know, I know y'all wanted to send him off a little better, but uh, it's fine. There's some finality there now that uh, it's game over. Yes, uh, you know, I can't uh, thank Tony Gonzalez for what he's brought to the Atlanta Falcon organization. Uh, he's been a great teammate, a great player, and a great mentor to a lot of men that uh, are going to play this game moving forward. And there's a lot of lessons that you can learn from Tony Gonzalez just by watching him. It's been a pleasure and an honor to uh, have the opportunity to coach, in my opinion, the greatest tight end ever played again. Talk more back to those hits. Does this emphasize the fact that you guys are going to do something with the offensive line in the offseason? Again, guys, I'm not going to talk personnel right. specifically. And obviously, we have not done a good, a good job in protecting our quarterback all through the season. You guys have uh, watched all 16 games. We have to do a better job, and it's not always just the offensive line. Uh, there's other people that are involved in the protection as well. Coach, there's not many positives you can take out of a 4-12 and 12 season, but what are some of the positives that you see that you can build upon next year? Well, we got an opportunity to play a lot of uh, young players. Let me say this. We are very dis disappointed in the way that we play in all three phases and, and in coaching. It's uh, not the type of outcomes that we were anticipating. It doesn't matter if you lose by one or you lose by 20, you lose. And we do not like to lose. There's not a man in that locker room that will accept it, and we will get better. Coach, what was your final message to the guys in the locker room?